Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday, July 23rd or 24th, something like that. <laughs> I can't remember. Anyways, I wanted to hop on here and share a little bit of happy mail that I've gotten recently. One is a card and one is a package. So I wanted to share it real quick on here so that I can put it away because it's been sitting in the box um, in my craft area for a while and it's kind of in the way. So I need to unpack it. Anyway, so the first one is a card that I got from Elizabeth in Pennsylvania. <laughs> I always suck at remembering the states. <laughs> but, and I think it's a Christmas in July card, which is pretty cool. Because it's a Christmas card. Because <laughs> I looked at the date and it was um, sent in July. So there's the card. And uh, also her um, YouTube handle is a crafty crocheter on YouTube is what it says and she also sent a cute little uh, organza bag with a stitch marker that I'm pretty sure she made it is beaded with seed beads which are the little tiny ones and it's a stocking with a candy cane on it so it's really cool Did you see my band-aid <laughs> I cut my finger on a piece of aluminum foil today <laughs> that hurt really bad it's like a really horrible paper cut but it's so cute so I'll be putting that over here and I'll be using it. That's my uh, stitch markers that's been gifted to me over the years. I think I've made a few of them, but most of them are gifted to me. Or in a couple I purchased. Um, anyways, I put them on there and then I, you know, I randomly grab them off to use them when I'm making projects. Alright, so the next package is from a mystery uh, person. And uh, they sent me some fabric and some other sewing things. So I wanted to go through it. I went through it on my other channel, but I haven't went through it on this channel. So I wanted to go ahead and do that now. I do have a second channel that's like a vlog channel. If you want to check it out, if you don't know what it is, it's linked below. It's called No Kitchen Name Life. And I'm going to be vlogging for that again probably this weekend sometime. But anyways, uh, I don't know how big all these. They're just random cuts of fabric. But uh, anyways, we'll hop into it. <laughs> so here's this one. Really pretty like uh, wintry sweater top is what it reminds me of. Like, um... Like long pajamas is what it makes me think of. <laughs> uh, you wear under your clothes, you know. And it's a pretty big cut. So that'll be, you'll see that again towards the holiday season when I'm making Christmas bags. Because I think that'll be pretty for those. And here's a print with, get it upside down. A bunch of different dogs on it. Really pretty. I've been needing to pack this stuff away on my fabric shelf. And I wanted to share it first. And there's this print with roosters <laughs> on it. I think it's just roosters. I don't think there's any chickens on there. And then these four prints are the same print, but they're different colors. So there's this one that's silver. They're glittery. <laughs> and then there's pink, which I love. I love pink. A pretty light blue. And a pretty purple. <laughs> Those are gonna make some really pretty bags. And then this really cool print, I love this one a lot. It's really cool. Rainbowy oil slick like <laughs> color. <laughs> and then an awesome zebra print. It's pink with zebras, which is very cool. <laughs> and then there's sparkly butterflies, which I'm pretty sure I've had this before. But I can't remember. I've had so much fabric over, over the years. But it's really pretty and glittery. And then there's this pretty butterfly. Another butterfly print. That is uh, dark red with gold butterflies. And they're kind of glittery. Very pretty. And I really like this one a lot. This is a leaf print. Really pretty. I like green plants. Cute little bird print. And the last piece of fabric is this big print. I don't know what this kind of print's called. <laughs> it's really pretty uh, print. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, <laughs> but I like it. So that's all the fabric. They also included two pairs of fabric scissors. Really nice. Nonstick titanium. Three times harder than steel. <laughs> it says all purpose um, scissors, but I use these for fabric. I actually, I have some of these same scissors, but they're kind of old, so, you know, it's a good time to get some new ones. And then they also included some of the cotton webbing that I use for handles on tote bags and on the zipper bags on the side. So they added, 
think this is one half inch of um, black and white. <laughs> get, a, get a little amount of it. And then this is the one inch. It's kind of coming unraveled. I have some bobbins I'll put these on. Um, white and black also. <laughs> I always get, because I, I usually when I go to Hobby Lobby to purchase this stuff, I purchase a lot of it. And sometimes I purchase the whole bobbin. And when I do that, they just give me the bobbin. <laughs> so I have some of the extra bobbins stack, stacked up that I can put these on to uh, keep them nice and pretty so that they don't get dirty and crinkled up. But yeah, so that's in that awesome package. Now I can put it all back in the box and then take it back in there and put it where it goes. <laughs> and I'm going to leave these like this until I'm ready to open them. That way they stay nice and sharp and safe <laughs> until they're ready to be used. All this fabric will probably be popping up in one of the next shop updates coming up. I will have a shop update. Oh gosh, I should have looked at the dates. I'm thinking it's going to be Tuesday this coming next week. Or it might be Wednesday. So I think so. I'm pretty sure today is the 23rd. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, 24, 5, 6, 27th. On the 27th, I'm hoping to get my shop update done. I've been working on a ton of bags for the last few weeks. Um, working a lot <laughs> on bags. It's gonna be a whole bunch of. It's gonna be drawstring bag sets with the matching notion pouch, notion pouches, <laughs> and also there's gonna be a few. I think five. Uh, zipper project bags in different sizes because I was just using up scrap fabric I had. There's a couple big ones and a couple smaller ones. Oh, what else? I feel like there was something else. No, I guess that's it. I already have all the notion pouches made and the zipper bags and I'm working on drawstring bags right now. They'll be done Sunday and then I gotta take all the photos and all that behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> Make all the listings and do all that stuff and I think the shop update will be Tuesday, but I'm going to put out a video for sure Sunday if when I finish the bags to announce it like formally uh, so that you guys know and I'll also show you a preview of all the bags that'll be in the shop. <laughs> I'm super excited about getting a Christmas in July card. I think I got one last year too, but my, uh, I have a hat in my box. It's actually right there. <laughs> uh, it's a big tote and it was a smaller tote, but since Christmas last year, I had to upgrade to a, a larger tote. I don't know how big it is. <laughs> it's one of those pretty, you know, pretty good sized totes, <laughs> just full of cards and letters and stuff that I've gotten from people over the years. So, um, I always hang them up for a while, for a couple months usually, <laughs> and then I, uh, take them down, put them in that box, and every now and then I'll just pull out that box and look at it. But I'm going to put this little stitch marker on my thing so I can use it, and then I'm going to put my card probably in the living room somewhere and leave it out for a while. And yeah, I'm hoping to do Christmas cards this year. I skipped last year because uh, finances, because <laughs> I have a lot of Christmas cards to send out usually. But I was looking online and I, you can order books of stamps ahead of time on USPS. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that. Okay, right, sorry, I had to edit out a coughing fit. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to order some stamps ahead of time. Christmas ones, because every year I always wait too long to buy them in the post office. And when I go to buy Christmas stamps, they're sold out and I can only get like regular stamps. Which is fine, but you know, when you're doing Christmas cards, you want Christmas stamps. <laughs> At least I do. And then I'm just going to probably get um, some regular Christmas cards like this one. Normally I do photo ones. <laughs> but um, I want to be able to get a bunch of them because I have so many people. I want to be able to send cards back to people who send them to me. Uh, a lot of times I get more cards than I can. <laughs> I run out of my cards. So um, this year I'm going to buy a bunch of just cute, funny um, cards to send out to everybody. Uh, this year and I'll, I'll um, talk about that probably in a video on a Facebook post uh, closer to Christmas about uh, swapping cards because it's fun it's a lot of fun to do that but anyways I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video I'm hoping to do a no catch name episode soon <laughs> and another vlog on my other channel so I'll see you guys in those videos bye guys